What's up, Spikes? Jim here, uh, coming at you from the Spike Feeders World Headquarters. We're uh, doing some gameplay today, and uh, we have some people in the studio that you haven't seen very often uh, recently. First of all, we've got Jerry. Hey, guys. We've also got Aaron, who you might recognize from prior episodes. Been around a bit. And somebody we really haven't seen for a long time is Madison. Hello. Still alive. <laughs> Madison moved from away. Alive. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're going to like launch right into it, but uh, we're playing some cool decks today. I'm playing Vile Smasher Sakashima. This is a Grixis Group Slug deck that has a CMC Matters theme. Uh, I'm just going to be handing out damage to whoever. Uh, it doesn't even matter who. As long as somebody is taking damage every turn, I'll be happy about that. <laughs> uh, and then I have a lot of cards in the deck that uh, are based on the CMC of other cards in the deck. So it's very synergistic and uh, hopefully not having to pay full ticket for these uh, spells because they cost way more than they should. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I'm playing four color Omnath today. Uh, it's basically a standard go wide deck. I'm gonna make a lot of tokens, hopefully add a lot of mana and uh, have some landfall triggers. Uh, I'm playing a Rumi of the Dead Tide, uh, pretty tra traditional self mill deck. Uh, so you see very common encore mechanic to generate value from bringing three of the same creature into play. Awesome. I'm playing Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer, and I am making treasures and casting big spells. It's a multi-format all-star Ragavan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm starting it off, so I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a Temple of Deceit, Scry 1, and I will pass the turn bottoming it. I will draw a card. Oh, okay, so I'm going to play this Temple Garden Untapped. Go down to 28. 38? 38. That's math. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap Temple Garden for a green to play this Exploration. Uh, off the Exploration, I'm going to put in an Island. I'm going to tap the Island for a Soul Ring and pass the turn. Are we dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, oh, wow. good game, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to play a simple Polluted Delta, and uh, I'm going to sacrifice it. Uh, I'm just going to find a Fetid Pools tapped and pass the turn. Okay, draw a card. Play a uh, mountain, cast my commander, and pass. Oh, so lucky. So I'll adapt. lucky. Play a luxury suite, and I'll pass the turn. Is that um, a price tag? But... <laughs> but I'm not going to throw out a perfectly good inner sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Untap draw. Um, I'm going to tap a green and a soul ring, and I am going to cast Cultivate. Uh, I'm going to get this mountain and a forest. Uh, mountain into play tapped, forest to hand. And then uh, for my two land drops for the turn, I'm going to play uh, a Raugren Triome tapped and a forest and pass my turn. All right, I'll tap my humble one land. Everything uh, check out over there? He's got seven mana. That's mm -hmm. I have one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play too. my second one. I'm gonna play an island. Now do I need a blocker or should I make more mana? I don't think I'm the person to attack. No, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm the threat. So yeah. I'm just not gonna play a blocker. I'm just gonna play a Demir Signet and I'm gonna pass. Okay. <laughs> Three mana. That's crazy. That's totally wild, yeah. <laughs> you looking to draw with it? Nope. <laughs> Maddie's gonna have. I'm gonna see what Maddie oh, gets. Yeah. Well, Maddie's probably I'm gonna get some. this mountain. Attack Jerry. Uh, no block, so I'm gonna take two, go to 38. 36. 36. 36. 36. Let's try Temple Garden. <sighs> oh, that's Jim I'm changing. That's why. <laughs> uh, wow. Cheater. 36. Easy, easier game when I take your shock line down. Uh, Prismatic Omen. Mm. Ooh, this card being exiled. Yeah, I'm into it. Sick. Do I wanna pull it? Yes. It makes your colorless no. lands add red. <laughs> You can exile that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll play, we'll play Ruby Medallion and pass the turn. You also yep. have a treasure token. Oh yeah, I do. Thank you. I'm going to play this island, and I'm going to cast Joyra of the Gitu. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. Cool. Untap. That's like one of my first commanders. Draw. I'm going to tap five mana, and I'm going to play a. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to play this Nesting Dragon. Ah, oh, very familiar with Nesting Dragon. Yeah, mm -hmm. really, really fun card. Uh, we put all our mana together, we have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn as first land for the turn, trigger Nesting Dragon to get a Dragon Egg. I'm then going to crack Scalding okay. Tarn. I'm going to get this Basic Mountain, uh, 
trigger nesting dragon. I have a second dragon egg. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to tap Temple Garden for a white, uh, green, and, well, red. I'm going to play this Knight of the Reliquary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn. How much mana do you got over there? Uh, available, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to untap my three mana. Mm. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I'm going to play a basic swamp. I'm going to tap two here for an arcane signet. And then tap two more here for a humble merfolk looter. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say humble defector, and I got so excited because I love that card. I do love that card. <laughs> I like Not quite in the colors for it, yeah. but pretty jacked about that card. Play an Aaron Mesa. Oh, have a blocker now. I'm just going to crack this now. Uh, go to 39. Off the Arid Mesa, I'm going to get this mountain. And then I'm going to cast Captain Lannery Storm for two mana. <laughs> Treasures, you say. And I'm going to attack this at James and this at Aaron. No box. Um, so I'll get one treasure. Attack me with a Ragged Banner? Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take two. I need some treasure, okay? <laughs> Turns at 38. Uh, turns at 37. Mm -hmm. Okay, make another Better trigger. not be a good one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't, cast, Can't it. cast it. so it's just exiled. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> so you know, you could have blocked. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth. You're I'm also going to cast this Impulsive Pilfer and then pass the turn. Okay. I'll adapt. Draw this card. I'll play a Fiery Islet and cast a Sin Prodder. <laughs> oh, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Uh, draw my card. Oh, you stop that. <laughs> you already have enough O's over here. Yeah, that's a that's pretty useful. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tap four mana, and I'm gonna play uh, Omnath Locus of Creation. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger Omnath to draw a card. Uh, I'm then going to tap. Soul Ring Mountain Forest to play this uh, Mina Den Wildborn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I may play an additional land on each of my turns. So mm -hmm. I'm up to three land drops per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm then going to play this Selesnia Sanctuary tapped. Uh, trigger, trigger. Uh, I'm going to return the Selesnia Sanctuary to my hand. Sure. So I have another uh, Drake. I have. And you have to return something else to your hand too, don't you? I do not. It's just nope. return a land you control yeah. to your hand, so I can just keep bouncing uh, it. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will gain four life off this Omnath. Okay. Uh, so for my second land drop for the turn, I'm going to play the Selesnia Sanctuary and bounce it again, so creating another Dragon Egg. And now I will be adding four uh, everything but black. Mm -hmm. uh, using the four everything but black, I'm going to play this Steve, uh, mm -hmm. Secure Tribe Elder. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm for my third land for the turn. I'm going to play the Selesnia Sanctuary, uh, and I'm going to bounce the Selesnia Sanctuary. <laughs> uh, so now another one, and you all take four off this Omnath. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. Jim, yeah, take five in the air, please. Okay, I'll go to twenty-eight. That is my turn. Untap, draw. Play an underground river. I guess I'll play my commander. Mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, we'll play a sundial of the infinite. And then pass turn. Okay. Hmm. Way to keep your tokens or your encore stuff. That's you know what's the plan. Draw a card. Turns a lot faster when you don't have a thousand mana. Fair. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm going to cast Gamble. <laughs> Hoop again. Which might really be a gamble. Right now, we're going to find out. All right. So off of my Gamble, I'm going to get this card. And now we have to discard it at random. No, no not discard it at random. Yeah. You want to discard one of the other random That's cards. how Gamble works, Jerry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, don't discard Search your library the card that card. I found at random. Put it in your hand. Put it in your hand, then discard it. All right. This one. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to guess you didn't guess. Hand, I'm going to guess <laughs> you didn't look for gear for Aether Grid. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to combat. And 
I got an easy block this time. I'll probably block I this know time. you do. I will probably block. Uh, Ragavan at James and Captain Lannery Storm at Jerry making a treasure off of this when I attack. Block. Okay. I will also block. That's kind of rude, but that's fine. <laughs> you can both block. It was rude to attack me, Madison. <laughs> yeah, these trade. Then I'm going to cast Blasphemous Act. I have a response. Oh, you do? I hate to see it. I do hate to see it. I'm going to crack Steve. Yeah. Crack, sacrifice Steve? Yeah. Okay. So uh, off this Steve, I'm going to get a forest. It's going to trigger Omnath and uh, Nesting Dragon. So I'm going to, uh, whatchamacallit? Get a, another token as well as gain four life and go up to thirty or sorry forty three. Um, I'm then going to activate this Knight of the Reliquary, mm-hmm. and off this Knight of the Reliquary. Oh, sacrificing this forest. Forgot to do that. Uh, I'm going to get this Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead ETB. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. So not enough yet. Um, so I don't get a zombie and that's everything. I want to oh, activate. sorry. I technically also have an Omnath trigger for four uh, yeah. colors. I'm going to Merfolk Looter. Okay. That's okay. my big play. That is all. Okay. <laughs> so okay. this Plasma resolves. resolves. Uh, so and off. when this dies, I make a treasure. So off, uh, I'm going to put Omnath into my command zone. And uh, off these f- six dragon eggs dying, I'm going to get uh, six dragons. Yeah, it's not optimal. I'm going to tap this mountain to play the soul ring that I thought I might discard. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, pay two, three, four, five, six to cast this thing. I'm uh, sorry, what? Drake <laughs> Seth, you know, familiar? The Maw Flames? Well, when it attacks. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Did I pay enough? Six. <laughs> I can count. <laughs> you done? Then I'll pass. Okay. Play this volcanic island, and I guess I'll just cast my commander. Uh, doesn't cost that much. No, nope. <laughs> you have. This is the first time you cast it. Cool. Last master of the fears. Mm-hmm. Pass turn. All right. Untap. Draw card. Oh, neat. Um, I'm going to tap. Uh, sure. Four mana. White, green, red, blue. Oh, and a soul ring. Cast my commander. Okay. Uh, trigger Omnath. I'm going to draw a card. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, then I guess I'm just going to play uh, first land drop of the turn. I'm going to play this Marsh Flats. Uh, so that will be the seventh land. Uh, so this Field of the Dead is going to trigger, and I'm going to get a zombie. Uh, I'm also going to gain four life off this Omnath. Uh, second land drop of the turn. Uh, I'm going to play the Selesnya Signet. Uh, I'm going to add four colors. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you appreciate that? <laughs> uh, trigger zombie. Mm-hmm. And draw a card. Well, bounce this back to my hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I have four mana. Uh, I'm going to tap these three. And I'm going to use, uh, so I have a, well, again, the four colors. So red, red, green, green, other colors. I'm going to play this angry Omnath, Locus of Rage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to, mm, uh, I will pass the turn. All right. Untap, draw. Well, I can... I can help Jerry. <laughs> oh, good. I love don't it. Do that. <laughs> I'm not looking to help Jerry, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to play an island. And mm, let's play in this thing. Mm, no, I'm just going to play my commander again, I believe. <clears throat> and then I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to untap. Hey, it'd be really cool if you didn't for my around me, I'm just saying. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I am going to cast Seize the Spoils. So discard, mm. dual cast mage. I'm going to draw two and create a treasure token. 
All right, I'm going to move to combat. That's a mana um, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. Wait. What? <laughs> Stack Jerry. He's going to block with enough dragons and it dies. He has so many dragons. Kill the dragons he's blocking with. It, I want to, so I can kill two and I can kill Omnath. You could technically kill three dragons. Well, that's probably not a great use of Yeah, that's not a good ability. use of the four mana, the, or the four toughness. Listen, you can attack me if you want. Damage. I get it. It's cool. I have more life. I'm willing to, you know, take 715. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you want to take 715, I'll, take seven I'll attack team. you. James is going to hold a grudge, so. I'm still going to hold a grudge. I can't believe that's your first choice. <laughs> All right, seven. I'm going to do four damage to this, and I'm going to do three damage to each of it. Of two dragons. Before those resolve. Okay, uh, it happens as soon as I attack, so before well, I sure. take yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't taken seven yet. Yeah. I'm just going to crack this Marsh Flats and uh, I'm going to gain four off of my Omnath. Okay. And uh, make a 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to get this Plains. Uh, also triggering uh, Field of the Dead. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. And then I can finish my turn now. Uh, yes, I also Excellent. have a 5-5 five, five elemental, and uh, <clears throat> these two are dead. Yeah. And so this Four. is... Just gonna recast Ragavan. Right. Ragavan. Pass. Untap. Draw a card. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to cast the only thing that I can cast for five mana. And that card's name is Heretic's Punishment. Um, <laughs> in a stride block all-star. Yep. Um, card's bad. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a five mana enchantment with a four mana activated ability. Choose target creature or player, then put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, mm -hmm. and Heretic's Punishment deals damage to that creature or player equal to the highest CMC among those cards. All right. Uh, and that's it for me. Uh, oh, uh, trigger, trigger Vile Smasher for five. That's a Love to see it. One. Nope, that's a, that's a, that's a, one. a Jerry. That's Jerry. <laughs> Love to see it. Yep. I'm going to untap. Draw a card. Ah, oh, tap three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Omnath, Locus of Creation again. Okay. Uh, trigger, uh, draw card. Uh, I'm going to play the Selesnia Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger, get a zombie. Trigger, get an Omnath. I will keep track of my different Omnaths, because these ones cannot attack this turn. Uh, trigger gain four life. I'm gonna bounce the Selesnia Sanctuary to my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna do it again one more time. Mm -hmm. So another zombie, another elemental. Another four life? Uh, nope, nope. this four one mana. adds the four mana now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, I'm gonna swing at you for five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have to leave the dragons back, probably. That's it? Yep. Just like five. You're going to hold a grudge? 23. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, are you going to hold a grudge? <laughs> Against Jerry? <laughs> For attacking you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah. yeah. Magic soluble grudges. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's how blood feuds get started. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Uh, untap. Draw. It's not what I'm, not what I'm looking for, but you know. Um, four mana. I want to play an Auric Lore Mage. Mm -hmm. mm, and a Choked Estuary tapped. Mm -hmm. That is all. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. And draw a card. All right, I'm going to go to combat and mm -hmm. attack Jerry. I'm going to deal four damage to Amath, <laughs> of course. The, the one that, that will one. die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to deal three to one of your dragons. She and kills other Amath. It has to be two separate targets. Does it? It says two other, yeah. other targets. Yeah, you can't gang up for oh. six. Yeah. Um, I'll do three to your face. Uh, okay, so, so I'm going to... We're going to... 46 gonna... off that damage. 46. And then whatever, if you're taking the set. So this Omnath is blocking. going to die. Uh, trigger this Omnath. I'm going to ping your uh, Ragavan for three. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to triple block with all my dragons, giving one of them plus one plus oh. Okay. So that's uh, seven blocking it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 
Your dragon say? Pardon? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, all of them are dead. And then I'm gonna cast Brash Taunter. Oh, I love that card. Oh no. And for now, I'm going to pass. Okay. On tap. Draw a card. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. Okay. On tap. Cost four mana activate. Sure does. Let's <laughs> draw a card. Uh, I'm just gonna mend yep. these together because they can all attack now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna tap ten mana and oh, yeah, right. play this yeah. Omnath. <laughs> yeah, I was really worried for a second. Sure. <laughs> What's happening? Trigger Omnath draw card. Yeah. Yep. Are you not still worried? <laughs> I'm still worried, but like, I don't know if we're gonna ten ten. Um. There's so many f- things in magic now. At least he keeps tapping all his mana. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm going to play this Selesnya Sanctuary. Yeah. Uh, do my triggers. Yep. Game uh, life. I'm going to respond to the trigger. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, I guess uh, all yeah. of them. Yeah. I'm going to tap four. Mm-hmm. And Heretic's Punishment targeting Locus of Rage. Yep. So uh, mill the top three. Logic Knot. Colossus of Akros and Riddle of Lightning, so it'll take eight. Yep. Uh, it's going to die. Yep. Uh, with the three ping, I'm going to kill File Smasher. Sure. Uh, okay, so I'm going to finish resolving this one. So I'm yep. going to get a zombie and gain four life. You still got a five. Yeah, you still get your yeah. elemental. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, bouncing this one back mm-hmm. to my hand. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just do it again. Mm-hmm. So, so you get four mana and a zombie. Four mana and a zombie. Um, with some of the mana before changing phase, I'm going to play this Sky Shroud Ranger. Mm-hmm. Move to combat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jim, I'm going to th- throw f- uh, 15 at you. And Maddie, I'm going to throw 10 at you. Yep, I'll go to eight. I'm going to block one of them. And that's going to deal me two damage? Does or... everybody two damage, right? How does that work? Uh, whenever it's, it's dealt damage, it deals that much to target opponent. Oh, okay. So never it'll mind. do it to your face. Yep. So I'm going to go down to 48. Go ahead. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> I've seen more. <laughs> uh, draw a card. Oh, wowee. So, all right. So what do we do now? The world's kind of my oyster. For now. The world is your oyster? Yeah, for now. Activate Auric Lore Mage. Uh, I'm gonna put Massacre Worm into my graveyard mm-hmm. with the Lore Mage, and then I may act. I'm gonna activate a Rumi here. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna exile Delta Island Merfolk Looter to give my Massacre Worm Encore. Okay. I'm gonna try huh. to cast this Massacre Worm. I will respond. Like you don't have to do that. <laughs> well, uh, things are gonna die. My Brash okay. Taunter is gonna die, so I'd like to activate its ability. So uh, yeah, gonna... you just played it, right? Yeah, last turn. Ooh. Oh, it does tap. It is summoning sick. It oh. does tap. All right, I'll take my treasures back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play three massacre worms, giving everything minus six, minus six. And yep. whenever a creature dies, the, that creature controller takes six. Six. Goodbye, brash taunter. So Madison loses six. I am dead. Not twenty-one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, I have. Well, I guess creatures. I guess this is this time six. Yeah. So thirteen creatures times six. I am only at oh, forty-eight. That's wild. I am dead. All right. Well, Andrew is wow. dead. Okay. <laughs> he was so young. <laughs> <laughs> um. I definitely right. thought Jerry was going to win this game. So, so now I have to attack with my massacre worms. I'm going to attack. One of them each has to attack you both. And mm-hmm. then I guess I will also kill Jim. Yeah, I am also dead. All right. Um, and then with the uh, end of turn trigger on the stack, I'm going to end the turn to keep all my tokens around. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to be really dead on your turn, though. Well, I can't have nothing else for me to reanimate. You know? I'm going to cast Inferno of the Star Mounts. <laughs> uh, yeah, can't yeah. be countered. It has slang in da- Can't counter it. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> uh, you 
also have to lose it. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got haste. I don't even want to attack, though. It's danger. You might be a little dead. Well, you're at 15, and he has uh, three six fives. So no, you might want to leave it back. Yeah. <laughs> well, but also, if he can kill it on your turn, you'll take six. <laughs> oh, <you're> dying. <laughs> oh, I don't think you have an out. I think no matter what, you are dead. Yeah, I'll play Magda. Might Two well. blockers. <laughs> uh, pass. <laughs> pass. All right. Uh, on tap. All this. I just want to say I spent this whole game trying to fight Jerry. <laughs> now it feels bad. Turns out Aaron was the raid boss all along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast it. Demon's Disciple. <laughs> uh, when it comes into play, everyone <laughs> sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker. Not me, just Madison. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm going to sacrifice the Watts six life. Yeah. <laughs> so That's a big nine. A nine. It's fine. I'm going to make you kill me. <laughs> I'm not conceding. <laughs> I'm going to cast the Floating Dreams of Barra before I attack you. I want people to know about Floating Dreams of Barra. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to send in... Send in everything. Make a message. message. Send a message. Absolutely no. I mean, the message was Floating Dreams of Barra. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> attack you with three mask orbs. Okay. <laughs> Block. <laughs> All right. Take 12. <laughs> yeah. Take 12 and die. <laughs> wow. What a game. I, I had Jerry on winning that game right <laughs> up until he was dead. Yeah. And then, <laughs> right until he died. And, then, and then right after that as well for a little bit. And then I realized he was dead. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the three masker rooms. I did the quick and dirty math in my head. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, you're okay, dead. Quick maths. That was fine. I, I kept my opening hand because I had Joy right in it. And uh, my opening hand also uh, included Faded Return, which is a seven mana reanimate at instant speed. Yeah. Turn it to next. But also if it's your turn, you scry too. Yeah. Um, it also goes indestructible, right? Yeah, yo, yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, I also had Draco in my hand and um, uh, Steel Hellkite, a bunch of other things. So, like, this was a Dreyer hand because I was like, okay, we just, like, roll up three mana, cast Dreyer, and then, like, suspend Draco, suspend Faded Return, suspend whatever. <laughs> and then, like, it gives me four turns to cast File Smasher and Sakashima and then just, like, double dunk mm-hmm. people for 16 when the Joyra thing resolves. Yeah. So I'm like, that was my whole plan. And then Jerry uh, got off to a scary enough start that Madison Blasphemous acted. So. <laughs> yeah, my entire game plan was I saw that I had a green producing source, another untapped land, exploration, and soul ring. And I'm like, I don't care what the other three cards are in the sand. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter. <laughs> and then I got bonkers. lucky enough to draw one of my bounce lands, which, uh, as you can see, is really fun because... I love yeah. hitting all my landfalls all the time. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, one of my hands is fine as a double mana rock, Merfolk Looter, Oracle Lore Mage. Mm-hmm. The Lore Mage hasn't really come up much since I played the deck, but, you right. know, sometimes you do this four mana sorcery in Tomb, and it's okay. <laughs> hey, it worked well, out there. In Tomb the Massacre Room, right? Yeah, I was like, hopefully, this, this if I get back to my turn, this is pretty good. This, yeah. Hopefully, no we'll one intervenes. Massacre <laughs> Room Encore, that was, like, for sure the all-star of that game we played a couple oh, more games with these decks yeah. too and massacre worm factored heavily into those as yeah well. the other yeah. game was like well if i had so my massacre good. worm because yeah. it was stolen once still an edh all-star yeah mm-hmm. yeah you know it's usually yeah, multiple of them now. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's good when you have one of them and it's real good when you have three of them <laughs> yeah oh my god just brutal yep. yeah 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 I what did know. you think of Rag- Ragavan? Ragavan. Ragavan did some things. Yeah. It uh, I had like dual caster mage and reverberate in my hand for a really long time, but I didn't get to cast those cards. So it would have been nice to attack with Ragavan a little later in the game when I had the mana to cast the things that it was going to exile. But oh, my grave time. it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm happy to keep playing with it and tune the deck a little more and see. Do you have ways to make them unblockable other than yeah. Whisper Soul Cloak? Uh, there's one or two other no actually unblockable i think it's just the whisper so cloak because i feel, I feel like red has weapons. a lot of cards that makes creatures about two or less unblockable i don't know if those cards are good but they have lots of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of other gobl- goblins that give other things unblockable but again i don't know if those cards are actually good right. it happens on pirate. damage right it's not on attack yeah, yeah. Damage. combat damage yeah, yeah, yeah. it's interesting mm-hmm. i don't know you could give it like melee yeah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Not, not melee. melee uh, what's the other one? You could like helm with a host it. Yeah, oh, true. you could make multiple monkeys. Helm yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, is melee the right. one that makes the copies for each? No, one? no that's myriad. Yeah, melee no. is like yeah, yeah, yeah. this creature Blade gets plus themselves. one, plus one for each other yeah. creature, each other player, or each player you've attacked this I, turn. I think mm-hmm. legendary. It, it still has the legendary effect at that. Myriad point. doesn't. I think myriads. You keep your legendaries. Yeah, yeah. your effects. 
No, like, so no, you don't keep the legendary. No, no, they come and play and die. They right. come into play and the, die. The it's legend how, rule still happens. Like, oh, Gaunti runs it because you get the ETBs. Yeah, yeah, stuff, you, uh, you, uh, be good you mirror it, Gaunti. Yeah. You, yeah, you can, there you go, boom, <laughs> format solved. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I think that's good for today. Uh, we will catch you next time. Uh, and everybody in the mat, in the in the comments, give a shout out to Maddie for uh, coming to film with being us alive. today. Being alive. Being alive. Yeah. yeah. Staying alive. Staying By the alive. time this episode airs, I'll get the joke. So that's good. Maybe. Until then. Yeah. We'll see. see ya. <laughs> Huge thanks to all of our patrons for helping us make this episode. Your support means the world to us, especially those of you who stuck around while we were unable to film gameplay content. If you want to get your name in the credits of upcoming gameplay episodes, head over to patreon.com and sign up for the Weaver or Worker tiers. If you sign up for the Tournament Grinder tier, you'll also get a personalized shout out. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window. Or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.